in this lecture we are going to learn about operator overloading let's look at a very simple class let's say a class counter okay so we are making a class counter and in that we have just a simple private attribute int count okay then you would like to have some functions like counter can be incremented decremented so we will have something like increment count okay so void so increment counter can be there and then you can have void decrement count can be there okay so now you can in make an instance of class like counter so counter c1 okay and let's say we have some constructor of it which takes one argument so c15 we have then we can have another object c210 okay then what you might do is that okay counters so one way of incrementing the counter is simply like calling c1 dot increment okay so this will increment the counter that is fine c2 dot decrement so this will make the counter lesser by one but this is not very realistic we would like that our counter object should behave just like an integer okay so what i want is c1 if i have if i do c1 plus plus it should increment for me okay the counter object should be incremented plus plus c1 prefix it should increment for me minus minus c1 it should call the decrement function so that makes it more realistic isn't it that the counter object is very much similar to the real integers so based on now if we want to do c1 plus plus so i need to call c1 dot increment but can this be done if it looks very nice to the user and he can really just call c1 plus plus to increment and you don't need to call the function and the good thing is c was c plus plus provides you this feature that is known as operator overloading plus plus is operator now you can overload it also for the objects and make it behave as you wish for your class so this being done now let's see in detail how c plus plus provides this beautiful feature so we have a class right now a counter class okay so it has one private attribute count then you have the constructor counter is zero by default if you provide some argument it just makes the counter equal to that value the count now we have the simple methods here int count increment count you do count plus plus we are not considering the decrement now okay so counter if you want to increment do count plus plus and in increment count display the count value so now what I do, I have these two methods. So count A and B, two counter objects we create. Let's say A dot display we do. Okay, so we have a display for and then B dot display. So we have these two objects and now let's try to build this. And it's building fine, run this. So we have the two counter objects. A, nothing was given, so it's zero, the count is zero b the count is 4 so good but if you do now like a plus plus if i want to do increment i have to call in count then i can do a dot display again and it should work for me now so let's see so now we are having a one here so it's fine now but if i want to do something like a plus plus let's try to see is it getting incremented the first one so you are getting one error no match for operator plus plus so till now we haven't defined the overloaded operator plus plus it will not work for us so let's try to first define if i do a plus plus how should it work so we have our first version of increment using operator overloading okay so let's see what we do so here let's try to first just little bit about the theory so when we have operator overloading so it's something very much similar to the function return type okay so you write the return type there is a typo here but no space so to return type what you want your operator keyword 
then you give the operator here is plus plus the operator name here and your function whatever arguments you expect in that here we don't expect anything and you now define your functionality okay so this is there so saying that let's try to see so if we see here so what we have defined right now so operator we don't need to return anything we just want to increment the value operator is the keyword here plus plus is the operator i want to overload and then i'm not sending any arguments to it just do count plus plus this should work fine for us okay so now let's try to build this okay so what happens here is again no operator int declared okay so this is now sorry for this one but it should be we are writing first our prefix operator okay so let's try to see so prefix operator it's working fine one by this debugger and fault of mine now you know that okay there is difference between a prefix and a postfix operator we now are working on a prefix operator okay so we will now work sorry for this the phone call came now okay so we will just continue from here so we do first increment the so prefix we have done and now it is compiling let's try to see so it's we are not printing anything out so this is fine but if we do again a dot display so it should now increment and make it two so if you see here so it is incrementing and making it two so it's working correctly so next thing is if someone thinks that okay make something like i want to make also b equal to a so b is equal to a so what should happen will this happen okay so b is equal to something like plus plus a, a prefix operation so we know that a is incremented first and then it will become equal to b so should it work again let's try to see if we build it we are getting one error because we had a void function it was not returning anything okay so this we will try to see here and how to correct this so here what we do we just if you return kind of what we should do so we have here in fact another function so for this operator overloading we have a counter here so it is now returning a counter object because b is equal to plus plus a we should have something assigned a counter object should be return back so this is being done i do count plus plus i make a temp object counter temp count and return that okay so this one will and i will comment this one okay so let's try to see now if we have this so it's working fine now counter we are returning we are incrementing the count making one counter object temp in which we make the counter count is equal to this count and we are returning it so when we are now doing b is equal to plus plus a it should work fine so it is compiling and then if you see it is running and it is incrementing also so this works fine for us some more things that we can do is still we are creating what we are doing we are creating one extra temporary object okay so we can in fact don't we will not create any extra temporary object but we will have another way of writing this that is counter operator plus plus so in the fly only return counter plus plus count we do and this will make a counter object for you and it will return the counter so this will also work for us and it is not requiring us to make now one temporary object okay so let's try to build this code so we build this code and it should work fine now so if you see here again it is working fine it is returning a 2 after increment and it is working fine for us so this tells you about operator overloading one more version of the count increment object is let's see this one also the final one so here if you see so we will again try to comment this one what good thing we are trying to bring is that we are now making in in fact we are not creating any object 
okay so we are just uh, this pointer is there so we already have one object of this class object type the class so what we do we make a const we count plus plus we do we have a this pointer which has the reference to this particular class object we just return star this we dereference this pointer and return this this would also work fine for us and here we are passing a const reference to it so that the person who is getting assigned to will not be able to change this okay so this is one other important way if you see this this also builds fine and it will work fine so you see here it is again incrementing it so one problem that we encountered was that let's try to see again we want to do now someone writes a plus plus so this is a post fix operation so we in fact haven't handled this so it is giving us that post fix operator is not working for us so what should we do is that the only thing you need to do for a post fix is that now we need to return so if we are returning a counter object we will write counter operator plus plus to make the compiler know that it is a post fix operation we you just put a int dummy int here okay so that the compiler will know it is a post fix operation so counter temp you make a count object okay and the thing in post fix is that the af only after the assignment the value increases okay so plus a plus plus means after this line of execution only a will get incremented so you will be assigned counter temp we make equal to the count now whatever is the value Re count plus plus we do but in this object the earlier version of count will be reflected and return temp will return the non incremented value so if you see here if i do a plus plus so now also it will just show one instead of two so build it it builds fine now because we have added a dummy int variable here in the operator plus plus if you run this one so let's see so it is showing a 2 now okay so let's see it's something doing something different for me and yes it should because here a has been changed so if i had let's say a b is equal to a plus plus now if i do b dot display b would be 1 and a would be so a would be 2 and that is the real correct way of doing it okay so this was showing two because a became incremented after a plus plus that is fine for us b should not get incremented so i build this code and if you run this so now if you see so b dot display so a dot display zero initially b dot display it was four a dot increment so it became one a dot display okay so it showed one b is equal to a plus plus b is still one and a became two okay so this works fine and i hope you understand the concept of operator overloading so thanks a lot